Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. In the last episode of the series on uh, this gear set that I'm making, uh, we, we turned the blanks uh, here out of some just raw material. Uh, this gear here is a spindle that will have a 12 tooth, 14 uh, pitch gear uh, milled into one end and then we have a larger uh, 40 tooth, 14 uh, pitch gear that will press up on here and uh, be locked in place. There, we, we needed to put in a, a, a keyway in this piece. So we're gonna broach a key in this one. And on this other piece, on the shaft, uh, we need to put a keyway in there. Uh, and on that, we're gonna do a Woodruff key. So this video is gonna be all about keyways, putting in a Woodruff key, as well as broaching in a key uh, on a hole. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's get over to the mill machine and get started. I'm getting set up here to put this Woodruff key in. I've got my cutter mounted. Uh, we're cutting a Woodruff key that's 3 16th inch thick. It's a 3 quarter inch diameter. It's a number 606. And um, I've looked up some information in my machinery's handbook to know how deep I need to cut it, uh, which we need to go in 217,000. So we got a little, little um, that's about plus or minus two on that number. Um, and we should be fine on the depth. So. We need to go ahead and get this thing set up so we can start cutting. Um, to start with, I've got this mounted in my self-centering chuck. This uh, chuck, both jaws move in and out, and it's got it, uh, some places in here where it's made for uh, holding round stock. So this is the perfect chuck for doing this. What I need to do is come down and first just touch off on the top of it. Uh, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a piece of paper I've measured this piece of paper and I know that it is five thousandths thick. And what I want to do is just come down on that until it I can feel it. It's touching right there. So uh, I know right now I'm within five thousandths of an inch off the top of that. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, zero things up here. And I'm gonna go down another 5,000. So that should be zero on the, uh, on, on the height. So right now, the bottom of this cutter is uh, zero, is, is flush with the top of this. So now we gotta do some math to figure out how far down we need to move this cutter to get it into the center. All right, so a little math lesson here, uh, machine shop math. So again, my cutter is now currently, the bottom of it is flush with the top of my shaft, okay? I need to put it into the very center. So what do I need to do here? So I know that my total diameter of the shaft is three quarters of an inch. Half of that's three eighths, which is 0.375. So when I move my cutter down uh, 375, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put the bottom of the cutter on the center line. And that's not what we want. We want the center line of the cutter to be on the center line. So I have to also move down half of the thickness. It's a 3 16 cutter. So half of that would be uh, 3 30 seconds of an inch, uh, which is 0 0.09375. I add together 3 8 plus uh, 3 30 seconds. And basically what I get is 0 .0, or 0 0.46875. We're going to round that to the nearest thousandths, uh, so it's going to be 469 thousandths is how deep I need to move my cutter. So let's go ahead and do that. So now let's move down that 469 thousandths. Uh, I've got my DRO zeroed out, and we're just going to take it on down. That's 100, 200, 300, 400, and... 69 right there and I will lock my table. So now we're ready to make our cut. Go ahead and turn our uh, cutter on here. And um, I'm gonna bring this in until it makes a little cut right there. And I'm gonna zero out my DRO. And now I just need to go in my 217 thousandths of an inch. So uh, I can just watch it up on my digital readout and we will go to depth. Now we're about 200,000 now, 210, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 right there. That should be to depth. And we come out and we should have one nice woodruff key. So with our woodruff key cut in this piece, now we need to broach the matching uh, uh, piece to go in this uh, gear here. So to do this, I'm gonna use my broach set. I've got a three quarter inch broach cushion. We'll drop that down in there. And uh, there's my 3 16 inch broach. And we're gonna come over here and push this right through. So get this set up. Put some oil, mainly for the, for the, the broach cushion to, to just rub against. And I'm just gonna use my arbor press here and we'll push that right down through there. We'll catch it on the bottom here as it comes through. Okay. You see the chips coming through there, cut it out nicely. And for this brooch, it takes two passes. So we'll put a little shim back behind it. That comes with the brooch kit and we will take another pass through here. There we go. Leave it up again. All right. Pass two. go so just a little close-up of the finished pieces here we got the woodruff key in hole here of course that's the woodruff key we will wait to put that in there right before we put it together and then of course the broached uh, hole over here on the other side so um, everything should be ready to assemble now well there you go guys uh, that's my process on how I cut the woodruff key as well as broached the keyway uh, in the hole here uh, see the process there. We're gonna wait and put these together once they're ready to go. I need to cut the teeth on the small gear before we press these together. Uh, so we'll wait and do that right before we actually start milling the, the teeth on here. Uh, but with that, that'll be a wrap. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate it as always. And in the next episode, we're gonna be cutting some gear teeth. Catch y'all later.